In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the string.equals method to see if strings equal other strings. Um, but first, just to give a little comparison, I'm going to show you an int first. So I'll say int x equals 3. And then I'm going to write an if statement. If x equals 3, then I'm going to print something out. So when I use an if statement with primitives, things like integers and doubles and things like that, I can simply say double equal sign. As you can see right here, system.out.println, we found 3. And so, since x does equal 3, if I compile it and run it, I found 3. And if I make it 4, 4 does not equal 3, so I don't print anything out. So that's how you can compare primitives to other numbers. But what if I have a string? What if I go down here and I say string artist equals new string Michael Jackson. And then I want to see if I can find Michael Jackson. Well, since we're dealing with a string, which is an object, I don't use double equal signs. I use dot equals. So I can say if artist dot equals Michael Jackson and if I can say system dot out dot print by we found Michael. So what this is doing here is saying if the artist, which happens to be Michael Jackson, if that equals something else, this Michael Jackson, then this is true. This will return a true or false uh, statement of our value. And based on the true or false value, I can run the contents of the if statement. So let's try that. Compile it and run it. And we found Michael. Just to show you how sensitive it is, what if I say Michael Jackson and I put a space right after the N in Jackson? So it's really Michael Jackson with a space. This Michael Jackson does not have a space. So technically, even though they look the same, they're off by one space. The computer is that sensitive. So if I run it, I get nothing. And if I put the take the space away and run it, then we found Michael. So this is this shows the difference between comparing a primitive to a value versus a string uh, to a value. And um, it's done with the equals method of the string class.